Hello, are you looking for clues as to how climate change will impact crops, food availability, or the services currently provided for free by natural ecosystems, or how agriculture and land management can contribute to reduce our emissions of greenhouse gases and mitigate climate change, or inspire innovative nature-based solutions to the environmental challenges we're currently facing, and foster the ecological transition? Are you interested in gaining insight into the underlying biological, ecological, and physical processes and how they can be affected by social and economic trends and public policies? If so, please stay tuned, but let me first introduce myself. My name is Benoit Gabriel. I'm a professor with Agro Paris Tech, a Paris-based institute of agriculture, forestry, and environmental sciences and engineering which is part of the newly launched Paris Saclay University, one of the top science and technology universities in the country. My main research area involves the modeling of crops and the environmental assessment of food and non-food value chains, including bioenergy applications. Together with my colleagues Sébastien Saint-Jean and Erwan Persson, who are specialists in biosphere-atmosphere interactions, exchanges, air pollution, and crop disease spreading and control, we are pleased to introduce a new master's program entitled Climate, Land Use and Ecosystem Services, or CLUES for short. The overarching objective of CLUES is to equip attendees with the range of skills needed to develop an integrated approach to the functioning of ecosystems in response to environmental and socioeconomic drivers such as climate change or land use patterns and the services these ecosystems provide us with. These encompass not only biomass provision and climate regulation, but also air quality and flood regulation or the maintenance of soil fertility. In terms of job sector and career prospects, graduates from CLUES are equipped to gain positions in public bodies such as environment protection agencies or local and central governments overseeing adaptation to climate change or climate mitigation plans. They may work in private companies or cooperatives in the environment, agricultural or forestry sector, or consultancies. They may also work in research and development, whether in the private sector or academia, international agencies or bodies such as the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, or international partnerships like the Consultative Group for International Agricultural Research. Over the past years, a third to half of the graduates have embarked on a PhD project in the research areas covered by CLUES.